video, I want to talk to you about five major tips that I wish I would have known about research in my first year of graduate school. So if you're a graduate student or if you're just a researcher, these five tips can be really helpful in moving your research forward and making you a more efficient researcher. Before I get started, I want to let you know that I have a free gift for you, which is my 30-day research jumpstart guide. It can help you to start to learn your field and frame your first research project within 30 days. So you can get that. It's completely free in the link in the description below. Now I want to get started on my top five tips that I wish I would have known. So the very first tip is to have a purpose whenever you are reading. So especially if you're a first year grad student or if you're starting to learn a field, you may just start reading tons and tons of research papers because you think this is gonna help you to learn your field better. And so if you are doing this, I highly encourage you to make sure that you know the purpose to why you're reading. A lot of times we can just read because we don't know what else we need to do. We don't feel productive and reading helps us feel productive, but it's really not getting us any closer to completing our research project. So the first thing I want you to do is take a step back and before you go reading into papers, know the purpose for reading each paper. If you don't know why you're reading a specific paper, stop reading that paper and push it off until there is an actual reason to read that paper. The second thing I wish I would have known about my research when I started out was to organize knowledge instead of just reading papers. So like I said before, have a purpose to reading a paper. And if you don't have that purpose yet, instead of just saying, okay, I'll throw this paper in a folder that I'll eventually get to, actually take the time to organize that knowledge. So if you have a paper that's talking on a specific thing, instead of just throwing it into a folder, organizing it, it in some way so that if you need that information in the future, you can easily go back to it and say, oh, I know that where to find this paper because I have organized it in specific ways. And I will leave a video above about how to organize papers and knowledge so that it is easier to find and it helps you move your research forward faster instead of reading a bunch of information and then trying to recall it later on when you actually need it. The third tip in starting out in your research is to actually slow down in your research. A lot of us are generally really excited about our research and really ready to get into it, but then once we get into it, we may actually go too fast in it and what that can ha do is you're going to waste a lot of your time because you were going too fast and you're gonna make a lot of mistakes along the way. And so for me, when I first started out my very first research project, I was studying amino acids and I was trying to look at them by mass spectrometry. And I spent a whole day making all of these solutions of amino acids with all of these different um, salts that I was going to study by mass spectrometry. And I, what I should have done first was instead picked a couple amino acids I was interested in starting with and made those solutions first and then analyzed them. Instead of spending an entire day making a ton of different solutions and then ultimately I had to remake all of the solutions because the concentrations weren't what I needed for the project. So make sure that you're slowing down enough in your research that you're not going to make those mistakes and that you're taking things one step at a time. The fourth tip that I wish I would have known was to get into the lab. And so I think a lot of us when we start out in our research we wait uh, longer than we should to get started in actually doing the research itself. We do a lot of planning, we do a lot of reading, and we don't go head first into, okay, I'm gonna do this in the lab and knowing that we're going to make mistakes when we do our research. All of us are going to make mistakes while doing our research, and I've made plenty of mistakes while doing research. And if you're coming into it with kind of a fear of failure and you don't want to make mistakes, you want to do everything great, so you're delaying actually getting started in your research because of that, 
I want you to just dive into it and start with something small. Start with a small test case that is not going to be, you know, detrimental if you make a mistake on it. And then start building up those smaller successes first instead of feeling the fear of failure or failures because you're trying to do all these big things at once. And then the fifth tip I have for anyone starting research is be comfortable asking for help. Whether this is asking someone in your lab how to use a certain piece of equipment or something about your research field, be comfortable not trying to isolate yourself away from people and figure it out while all on your own, but collaborate with other people, look for other people's expertise, and ask for help when you need it. I think a lot of us will take steps back and whenever we don't know something, instead of going to someone who can answer it in 30 seconds, we take weeks trying to look over tons of papers to find the answer when the answer might come more from the experience of someone else. So be open and willing to go and ask for help from other people or ask for other people's insights. That's going to help you push your research along a lot faster than just trying to figure out everything on your own. So just to recap, the five main tips I wish I would have known is to make sure that you are always reading with a purpose. So every paper you read, you know why you're reading that paper. Organize your knowledge instead of just reading your paper. So make sure that that knowledge is easy to find in the future and it's not just something that you're reading and it's just in your head and then later on you're not going to know where you got that knowledge or what that knowledge specifically is. The third is slow down in your research, take a breath, and test out your experiments before diving head into them. Um, instead of doing all of them at once or a large portion of it, try and test it out first. The fourth is to be fearless in your research. Dive into it even if you're not quite sure how it's all going to work out yet. And the fifth one is to make sure you ask for help and insights from other people who have more experience in this field than you. Don't forget to download the 30 day research jumpstart guide that's going to help you even more implement these tips and be able to walk you through step by step how to get through your first research project. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.